All right, hi, Cancer. This is going to be your reading. This is for Cancer placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Be sure to flip the script. Pick what side of the story you are on. And yeah, so let's get into your reading, Cancers. What do Cancer placements need to know right now? Okay, so we have yes. Okay, you got a yes. Something is a yes, Cancers. Okay. What y'all getting a yes to? Per. I'm just kidding. Um, what else? What else for cancer placements? And it's a yes with an exclamation mark. <laughs> Cause oh, let me show you this one. Oh, where where did it go? Cause this so one card says yes, but y'all got the extravagant yes with the the exclamation mark. <laughs> um, what else for cancer placements? What's going on? Okay, cancers, don't be stingy. Open up. So you guys, are you guys in your shell? Do you want to retreat to your shell? Okay, we got trust. Some of you go, that's crazy. And we got no. So some of y'all could be a bit closed off. Or you could be getting scared. Some of you guys could be feeling a bit triggered. I just got that for Virgo's reading. You can have Virgo in your chart and your moon or rising sign. Or you could be a Virgo with Cancer, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What else? Because Virgo had got something about them being triggered. Big happy changes are happening a year from now if you take the proper action right now. Okay. What else for Cancers? All right, damn, finally, no need to worry. Whew. Okay, so some of you guys need to trust in God, Allah, the universe, whoever you subscribe to. Okay, if you believe, some of you guys are having a hard time believing in a situation, yourself, a person, a path that you're on. Okay, um, whatever it is, you, you're, you're, you guys are having a hard time trusting maybe an outcome. Maybe you've been down, you're saying, well, I've been down this road before, or things always start this way, or I, 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 or I don't know if I'm going to make it, I don't know if I'm going to pass this, or I don't know if I'm going to complete or accomplish this, or I don't know, if, are, are we going to get married, are we going to move in, are we going to make it official, am I going to be rich, am I going to succeed, it's, it's like, okay, like, it's yes, if you just trust yourself and just stop worrying, and have fun, in the meantime, you can't control you can't control it. you can't control everything but in the meantime focus on the things you can control like how you react to things and focus on being happy and living in the moment okay focus on the moment all right what's yes for cancer placements Okay, three of wands, uh, period. A Aries energy. You have a, uh, you're coming out of something for some of you guys. Okay, uh, you've learned something or you are learning. You could be studying something, a new skill, learning something new. With this three of wands here, I do see your ships coming in. I do see a manifestation that you've been, uh, I do see a manifestation coming in. So if you've been wondering something is a yes, I, it is. Okay, you could be traveling here. You could have met somebody while you're traveling. This person could be foreign, but your ships are coming in. Your ships are coming in within like three weeks, maybe even a few days. What's yes here? Oh, bitch, fuck me. So child, this could be within your, your finances, family, a child. Two of Wands, Mars, and Aries. So whatever plan, whatever you're, some of you guys are planning for your future. Think big. Think big. You can have, if you have, if you feel you got to choose between two, you can have motherfucking both. Okay, you can have both. Whatever, and when I mean both, I don't mean two people. But if you want fucking two homes, or if you want two jobs, if you want two businesses, but you can have motherfucking both. Okay, two of wands. Whatever you're planning and strategizing, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. I can't tell. This is very good news. This could be about your finances, your independence, just your self sufficiency. It could be your health. Okay, like it's something is it's this is good news. What's yes? Something's a yes. Seven of Cups in reverse. It could maybe some of you guys have made up your mind. You've made your decision. Venus and Scorpio, you are no longer in some type of illusion. You're no longer confused. You've made up your mind. Or you will. If you've been confused about something, you won't be confused anymore. Okay? Or somebody's made up their mind about you. Three of Wands. Child, what's the Three of Wands? The Eight of Wands. Oh my God. Oh my God. Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God. Hmm. Oh my God. Some of y'all need to like just breathe. Your insecurities are getting the better of you. You're gonna overcome something. You see how the chat you see how there's the, the black and white sphinx here with the chariot, and then there's this there's the um the light and dark globe here. Something about duality, adapting, overcoming different challenges, overcoming different obstacles. Things are gonna be taking off for you pretty fast and within the next two to three weeks or two to three eight days for some of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Some of you guys could be truckers or somebody could travel for work here. You could be in a long, somebody could be um, coming. If you guys live at a distance from someone romantically, this person's going to be traveling back and forth to come see you. They, they, and you, can't, you ain't going to be able to find no excuses with this one. You're not going to be able to give it to this person easily. Okay, this person's going to make sure that, yeah, if, there could be a partnership forming. For some of you guys, this is long distance. They, like I said, they could be forming. Expect some communication via email, phone call, text, something. Expect something that is is what you wanted though. With this yes here, this is not. This is, isn't. This isn't a fantasy. It's reality. Okay, it's good though. Eight of Wands, or at least for right now, something is growing rapidly. Okay, you're watching something. Three of Pentacles. This could be a new job an apprenticeship, an, an internship that you're getting. So you could be hearing a yes on that. Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. Something is a yes. Especially if you're in school, if this is about a job here, you're going to be getting some type of help, assistance. Somebody likes your work. They want to work with you. They want to, this, yeah, they want to work with you here. You're getting good news. A new contract could be forming. What's this two of wands? Child. It's all coming together, Cancers. Okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Virgo energy is here. Somebody could be a September Virgo or Libra. Some of you guys are feeling a bit mentally, uh, a bit scattered brain. You need to trust yourself with the judgment here. Trust your judgment. Trust your judgment, Cancers. Your first thought, your first response is the correct one. Trust your judgment. You could be doubting yourself here. Some of you guys are feeling mentally scattered. You could be feeling a bit all over the place. You could be feeling a bit insecure, ungrounded. Maybe it's a lot of good things coming at once. A lot of people want to network and work with you, and they could be throwing you off. A lot of, you know, sometimes even when a lot of good things are happening or falling into place, it could be a little scary. It could be overwhelming. Some of you guys are mentally overwhelmed. Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys don't let your don't let your past traumas and repressed things fuck this up okay don't let your don't let your mind some of you guys your mind is playing tricks on you okay you got something good coming in queen of swords in reverse queen of swords in reverse some of y'all not speaking up some what are you guys are planning on keeping things to yourself or this is somebody here i feel like somebody is like having a hard time with their throat chakra maybe having a, a, a i don't know your intuition could be a bit uh, could be a little off What's going on? You could have writer's block, maybe. You guys need to relax and breathe. Okay. This kind of was in the Okay, the magician here. Your child, Virgo, Gemini energy. You have all the resources you need for something. And again, maybe something has been with this world in reverse. I don't know if you guys, what, you're afraid of failure. Maybe you're afraid of disappointment. I feel like a lot of this is fear. You could be holding back out of fear of disappointment, afraid of the unknown, afraid of failure. You could be trying to manifest something. I feel like it's coming in, but just make sure you're not being overly, because if you're being overly critical, especially if you have Virgo in your chart, or you're around somebody that's overly critical, a friend, a family member, a parent, a spouse, a coworker, a manager, a classmate, whoever, be careful so that doesn't, inf so it, be careful that that inner critic or crit or thing or people's opinions that are not even true, because you're in a critic, a lot of the harshness that we tell ourselves are not true. Those are things that people. Those are, those are things that our parents, our exes, and people told us. Those are that they were. Those are projections. You don't want to manifest your projections. Things that aren't true. You don't want to get in the way of your manifestation. As above, so below. Whatever you think you are, you will manifest. Okay, magician here. Some of you guys manifest very easily. What's a magician? 
and you got a lot of things coming at once. Your spirit guys are like, okay, your wish is my command. Oh, I'm fat. I'm ugly. Okay, cool. Let's add some weight to her or him. Let's break them out. Let's have them missing here. Let's have them fucking uh, lose a ton of weight. Let's have them look for, I don't know. Oh, I'm a man, ch a child, two broke girls. I'm always broke. Oh, child, I ain't got it. I'm broke. Oh, let's, let's, let's throw in some unexpected expenses. Let's get, let's, oh, they wanted that job, that internship. Let's reject that oh they uh oh well, nobody ever wants me oh i oh no he's probably gonna do the same thing so and so did uh, this is how me and so and so first started dating. and oh this is how things you know we me and my ex baby uh, my other baby daddy we moved in together first before getting married we never got married so this is gonna happen again up oh, let's make this person who was gonna actually propose to cancer all of a sudden get cold feet and have and, and start being wishy-washy about commitment and marriage in general you know what i'm do you get what i'm trying to say cancers do you get what I'm trying to say? I hope that makes sense. Get out of your head. Okay, some of you guys, these men and these thoughts are from like, this is like gen a generational thing similar with Virgo. Go watch Virgo's reading. You could have had a parent that was very critical of you. And this has become your inner voice, how you coach and, 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 and mentor yourself. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be... Um, this could be like debt, maybe. Some of you guys could feel like you don't have the resources for something. Again, you are extremely resourceful. Cancers, you're one of the most resourceful signs that I know. Literally, you guys are one of the most resourceful fucking signs. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What's this? This could be about an inheritance. It could be about money. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be feeling insecure, ungrounded. You may have a bad relationship with money due to a family. That could be a generational thing with your family. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Your mother could be, oh, money don't grow on trees. Or we're broke. We ain't got, you know, that, like, mm, like come on. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like, people got to stop saying stuff like that. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. This is about your, this is about childhood. Yeah, there, there's a, this could be something that's passed down on your mother's lineage, whether she's still here or not, okay? There could be things that she said that still haunt you from when you were a child, and that's what you manifest. Or if not those exact experiences, whatever feeling that she made, he or she, whatever parent or person or whatever made you feel as a child, you manifest experiences with other people that are going to ignite that same feeling, okay? So I just wanted to tell you that. All right, what's the three of pentacles? So I don't care what your age is. You could be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's still some things plaguing you from your inner child. The six of cups is about memories. This could be childhood, family, generational. Something with your family lineage. Okay, three of pentacles. You may have a choice between two different internships, two different departments, or people that want to work with you, collaborate with you. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Some of y'all not learning a lesson here. Moon and Sagittarius. Some of y'all are like doing something over and over. You're going to have to let your guard down here. You're going to have to open up, not be so guarded. Learn how to collaborate and work with people. Learn how to trust people. I'm not talking about superficially. Oh, let's go out and let's drink. Let's have a good time. Oh, we in the same class. Oh, we, we studying the same thing. Oh, we doing the same thing for work. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, yo, what, oh, what's good? My, you know, whatever, whatever. No, learn to formulate real connection so that you can really get ahead. And I don't mean that in an opportunistic way. But Cancers, you guys rule the fourth house, which is family. That's the people, the community that you create. It's how it's how you usher your that they usher you forward or hold you back. Okay. Some of you guys, you know, y'all may have some trust issues. Maybe it was a father figure or a mother figure. Not a bonds in reverse. It's someone that's really stubborn. Don't be too stubborn to ask for help. Okay, nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, page of pentacles. You're getting good news with finances. You're getting good news with your finances or a job. It could be a new client, an internship, a payout, some type of help. If it's not financial or monetary or something tangible, you're getting counseling for something. Okay, somebody could be, um, you're getting good. You're gonna, you don't have to worry. 
okay a, a lot of these uh, and we have mercury retrograde happening on the 23rd within in the next two days so like i told virgo you may have a lot of past feelings that could be like coming up that could be things could be going so well that there could be things that are going to trigger you to test you are you going to succumb to that or are you going to acknowledge those things and acknowledge that you're no longer there you're no longer that person you're no longer that little that that young child okay you don't have to you know what i'm saying so or you're no longer that that experience you 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 no longer experience those unfavorable experiences okay so what's this um this could be like a classmate a friend you could be hearing from good news about or but it's something solid. For some of you guys, it's something that you can actually see, t uh, touch, taste. Okay. Some of you guys could be chefs here. Seven, or you cook really well. Seven of Cups in reverse. There's there's a gift that you have on your family lineage. You have a, a very you can cancer. Some of you guys, you can you may come from a family of great manifestors, and you may have that gift. So you have to be careful what you speak and what you say to yourself mentally when no one's watching and when no one can hear you. Okay, Aquarius energy because your life is going to reflect what you've been thinking about yourself and people and things in general. Okay, whether you come off confident or whatever, remember everything is going to reflect back what you really think. Okay, um, if you got to revisit some things from your childhood, do some childhood regression therapy, you might want to do that. You can kill two birds with one stone. You can do that and, you know, it may help with your manifestations. The star here, Aquarius energy. Okay, this is like vulnerability. Not, you know, the seven of cups is like superficiality. It, again, you need more meaningful connections. You need to be more vulnerable. And for some of you guys, if you already are, pat yourself on the back. And for others of you that come across people who are not, that that's okay. Feel bad for those people because they missed out on a good friend, a good partner, a good lover, a good a good business partner or whatever. Okay, you can't fix or heal everybody. Um, start here. Okay, I got 20 more percent left. I'm going to make this quick. I wasn't going to do you guys tonight, Cancer. I was like, I'm tired. But then I just got so inspired because can I share something with you guys? So this is my, this is like my fourth money tree. <laughs> this is like my fourth money tree. And normally I, I've had this money tree since the winter, since November, 2020, we're in 20, 2022. And normally, oh, hey, guys, normally, oh, my hair, oh, child, I got my little cornrows. Normally, guys, um, I'm, I kill my money trees all the time. I kill them. And I've had this one for almost a year, and I was so bummed out because I'm like, oh, my God, the AC was, is, like, fucked up, which is why I have this little thing here. It's leaking, and one day it, like, basically, I, it over, it got overwatered. It got saturated with um with water and i'm like oh my god i just watered it is it gonna die ah uh, ah uh, oh my god here i go killing my fucking money trees again and i have this new leaf i don't know if you guys can see but there's a new leaf that's sprouting right here and i'm just that's what inspired me to do your reading cancers i was gonna wait until tomorrow i don't know if some of you guys may like plants some of you guys may not but that's what inspired me that's what inspired me to do you guys' reading. I got so inspired by this new growth that I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do Cancer's reading. And here we are. But um, back to the reading. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I was just so excited. I was like, oh my God, my money tree, there's growth. And for me, whenever my money trees like go to shit, my finances usually go to shit. And, I, and so like, when I saw that, I said, wow, my hard work. But I don't know what it is, what I'm doing. But... I don't know what's I don't know what exactly is working, but I was like, oh my God, whatever I'm doing, um, it's working. Something I'm whatever I'm whatever energy whatever I'm doing energetically, it's working. There's growth. This has taken forever to grow, but there's growth. Okay. But anyways, cancers, I just had to say that. But just to start. <laughs> I just wanted to share that the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Some of you guys still need to heal from some type of past betrayals. 
You could have been betrayed, abused, or um, violated in some kind of way as a child, as a teen, when you were a young 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever, you know, I don't want to say whatever because that sounds like harsh, but you know what I mean, like, you, you know, you'll know better, right? The lovers in reverse, like I said, Gemini energy, it could be betrayal, it could be some type of disharmony within yourself, you could be in disharmony with yourself within yourself here. Okay, what's this love is in reverse? Yeah, with the, the two of pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn, you may need to kind of balance out those energies, the light and dark within yourself. The yin and yang, okay, aspects, the love is in reverse. Oh my God, fuck me. Um, two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. Um, for some of you guys, I don't know. So I don't know if something is being... Hmm. So I don't know if somebody juggled you here. For some of you guys, Cancers, this, you know, okay, real quick. I, don't, I hate talking about third parties. I really do because it's like, what the fuck? But somebody could have like fumbled the bag with you or these could be past people. Um... Uh, if you were in some type of fantasy, I don't know if somebody's going to do or the, you go watch Virgo's reading, please, because y'all reading sound pretty similar. Go watch Virgo. Okay. Uh, yeah, go watch Virgo. Two of Pentacles could be juggling. It could be like a um, indecision. It could be like comparing. Don't compare yourself to the past or this new person to fill opportunities, to fill things. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys are a little bit like, what's this Two of Pentacles about? you? It could be your anxiety. You could be comparing yourself to others. Two of Pentacles. Or I don't know if somebody is juggling. That could be the portrayal of an issue or you've experienced this in the past. Especially if this is going to be a long distance connection. Maybe you feel like this person is going to be non-committal. Okay. Or whatever. Or maybe this is a past person and I don't know. Child. Okay. Do we not want to clarify the two of pentacles? Some of y'all do need to come into balance with yourself. Okay, let's go to trust. Okay, clearly. So we got, okay, the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy and the seven of wands, Mars and Leo. Capricorn is your sister sign, so go check out Capricorn's reading. Cancers automatically always watch your sister sign readings. Okay, what, the, what was Capricorn's title? Oh, did you ever think? <laughs> um, listen to that R. Kelly song, Did You Ever Think? By, um, by R. Kelly, did you ever think? Look, go listen to that. Cap that was Capricorn's title. Um, some of you guys don't even know what you could be coming into, which is really good. But you guys could be in, like, you're not trusting it. Or Anyways, the devil in reverse is about detaching from toxicities, codependency. Some of you guys may need to set better boundaries with yourself, with people. Don't be afraid of sticking to your standards. The right people will stay. The wrong people you will repel. That's the whole point of having standards is to repel the wrong people and to attract and keep the right ones. Don't be afraid of that. Okay. Some of you guys, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid of standing up for yourself, standing your ground, fighting for what you feel like is yours in a non in, in a non confrontational way. Okay. But don't back down at the same time, right? Find that middle ground, that sweet spot, which trust here. Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries energy is here as well. So you could be dealing with somebody here that could, I don't know if this person is not committed. Maybe they were they were like this in the past, if this is an old person or a current. Um, you guys may be, uh, this could be somebody that's feeling a bit financially insecure, somebody or, or insecure in general here. This somebody could like have a gambling addiction or some type of addiction, sex, gambling, substance, alcohol, whatever, overspending. Uh, yeah, what's trust here? Somebody could be a bit flashy, superficial. Somebody could also be a scammer. Trust. Okay, the justice here, Libra energy. So somebody could be having some type of legalities going on here. So. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody could be uh, finan struggling financially or not as stable as they appear. What's the devil in reverse with the seven of wands upright? The trust. Yeah, eight of swords. Somebody may end up getting locked up here or in some type of entrapment, some type of bind. Somebody could have got themselves in some type of bind here. Eight of swords here, Jupiter and Gemini. Also, some of you guys could kind of be in like, I don't want to say a victim mentality, but I am getting the whole woe is me thing. Or this is someone in your energy. It could be a child of yours, even. For some of you, they could have an issue with money. This person likes to overspend. They could have a good job, but they just, they're bad with money. They can have a gambling addiction, sex addiction, substance. Somebody here could be trying to keep up with the Joneses. Again, somebody doesn't really, somebody's not as secure, whether it's financially or emotionally and mentally as they appear to be. This is you or your person. Eight of swords here. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. This could be backed up like child support, moon and Taurus, if this person has kids, okay? For those of you, if, if it's not that case, uh, this could be somebody here. You know, make sure you're not overcompensating cancers with this six of pentacles in reverse. Something could be very transactional here. Somebody could, this is like, I scratch my back, you scratch, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Like, uh, I'm, I'm the king of pentacles in reverse is somebody that typically pays for sex too. So be careful with that. Okay. Um, somebody could, could be a gold digger or they marry for money, man or woman, men do it too. What the fuck? All right. Six of pentacles in reverse is also... Something is not balanced. You may have to set, again, better boundaries with how much of yourself you give to people. Time, money, energy, your body. You don't have to over... You know, again, the right person, you're not going to have to overdo anything. You're not going to have to overcompensate, compete, nothing. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys get in your head, you get anxious, you get scared, and you overcompensate. And then you end up resenting and becoming passive-aggressive and moody to people around you. Speak up. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Six of Wands here. Jupiter and Leo. Somebody could have some type of false sense of status. This person could also be very ego-driven. I'm also getting someone that feels embarrassed about something. This could be money-related. Maybe they're embarrassed to tell you what they got themselves into. Somebody cares too much what other people think about them. This could be you or your person. Uh, what's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, oh, Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius, and the Two of Cups in reverse, Venus and Cancer. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's a gaslighter, man or female. Or this is how somebody's seeing you. This could be a breakup here. Venus and Aquarius, Venus and Cancer. Venus and uh, Scorpio is here. A lot of Venusian energy. Yeah, a lot of Venusian energy. So something about self-worth, maybe your finances is tied to like your relationship so if you're struggling in, in love you could be struggling with finances if your love life is not existing most likely your finances is as well love and money go hand in hand that's why libra and both taurus are ruled by um venus venus is dependent of my of love but it's also dependent on money people kind of underestimate how venus rules over finances that's why Taurus is the second house, which is about finances, self-worth, and Libra rules the seventh, partnerships, contracts, marriages, etc. So you kind of do need a bit of both. So two of, uh, what's the five of swords with the two of cups in reverse? Some of you guys have been in the wrong partnerships, or you're connecting to the wrong people or person. Yeah, eight of pentacles in reverse, people that are non-committal, lazy. They may show you a good time, spoil you, but these people are non-committal. They don't really have staying power. 
they give to you, especially monetarily, like financially and, and gifts, and they take you out, they wind and dine you, but they're not really relationship material or committed, or com or they don't really have that, they're not really, I don't know, something could, there could be a dead-end relationship, a dead-end job that you're in, okay, somebody here could be married or in something, but they're just not faithful, really, or they're just not, it's not stable, something or someone is not stable, trust what you're feeling, Don't move too fast with certain things and people. Eight of Pentacles could be a perfectionist. Some of you guys could be a bit of a perfectionist. Or this person. Somebody could also be working a lot of hours. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is like, yeah, oh, somebody could, Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. Somebody could be working a lot of hours. You could be seeing 10-10, Leap, um, Virgo energy here with the Hermit. Go check out Virgo. Uh, Virgo had 1010. 10. Every sign had 1010 10 except Scorpio and Taurus. But Leo, Aries, Libra, I'll name them anyway. Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. They all had 1010. 10. So go watch their reading. Somebody is working overtime. Maybe to distract themselves from a breakup. Somebody could be having a lot of, there could be a lot of people that depend on this person or people that have their hand out. Somebody has a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities that are weighing on them. They're stressed out. Somebody is stressed out. They're like at their breaking point, literally, but they're putting on a brave face. They care what people think too much. This could be a child of yours, really, or like someone that you're dating. The justice here. Oh, you could be seeing eight, 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 eight of pentacles, eight of wands, eight of swords here. Wait, I saw that eight of swords, right? I saw it. Oh yeah, eight of swords. So you could be seeing eight, eight, eight. Eight is, a, is about like karma. So this could be like a past life thing. Or this is somebody's, this, I mean, the justice is here. So something's definitely karmic. Okay, a uh, Leo guy, eight, eight, eight. Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Taurus. So go check those readings out. If you have those in your chart or you know somebody that does. But yeah, what's the justice here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So some of you guys could be getting a legal payout. This could be like a loan for school, for work, a personal loan here. Uh, you could be signing a, a lease or a contract here with this uh, Ace of Pentacles. You could be getting a new job. Like I said, an internship for some of you, a new home. This could be like a new business idea that you could be getting trademarked. Okay. Um, some, of you, some of you guys could be going through a divorce, a separation with that um, hair fund in reverse. Okay, what's this um, Ace of Pentacles? Some of y'all could be like, what's this Ace of Pentacles? We'll see. If the Four of Wands come out, Ace of Pentacles. This is something lucrative. So you have something with your finances or money's going to look good. This is your justice. King of Swords here in reverse. And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this is like your thoughts. Some of you guys are in your head a lot, Cancers. Do your research before you just go signing something. Because I don't know, you make... Yeah, I don't know if you're going into business with someone. This could be a businessman or somebody wants you to sign your name or sign your name on something. Make sure you don't go into debt doing this. The Hermit here, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Is someone make, confessing something? They may not have as much as they may be doing okay, but not as much as they like. This person may spend a lot of money on you or spend a lot of money, period. But they may not have it. They may not be doing bad, but they don't have it the way they they fucking spending it. <laughs> okay, uh, this could be somebody confessing that. Somebody here could be a bit of an escapist. Someone can be like incognito, hiding. Uh, withdrawing okay ghosting they could do that a lot somebody you and this person could both do that y'all both may shut down and not really express yourself you could be you guys could be mirroring each other for those of you who are going through a separation or a divorce or somebody else's either you and this person or these two people whoever's going through it really hate each other they're really cold and bitter towards each other king of swords in reverse this could be a gemini a libra an aquarius or a capricorn king of swords in reverse
yeah the hangman pisces energy someone's a bit stubborn there could be someone here could be stole um stonewalling stalling here on giving you something a payout this for some of you guys is child support or some type of loan or they or they not paying you back or whatever this is or they not they doing this to somebody but you're getting something there's positive you're, it's good news regarding your finances or some type of stability okay it could be school it could be work it could be anything it's good news but my only thing with this hangman is it's like a, somebody is not making somebody's gonna have to make a sacrifice that they may not want to make in order to have a new beginning they're gonna have to cut some things that they're gonna have to be honest and real with themselves and i feel like they're not doing that somebody's judgment is clouded they, they could be having a lot of brain fog a lot of um headaches migraines hard time seeing their vision could be a little shitty hangman in reverse Yeah, the moon here in reverse, Taurus, I mean Taurus. Well, yeah, with the word card, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, Scorpio. The uh, moon card, Pisces, Cancer, heavy Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with another Cancer or somebody with Cancer or Pisces placements, but... There's a chapter that's closed. Some, again, this person could be at a distance. The hanging in the room. Somebody could be going away for a long time. Or they're afraid of that. Yeah, seven of swords here, moon and Aquarius. You could be seeing seven, 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 seven of swords, seven of wands, seven of cups. Sevens are about warnings. It's a very spiritual number as well. So something could be trying to get your attention. There could be a lot of... Uh, yeah. Somebody could be overly critical and judgmental. You may need to shift your perspective on something or someone. You could be in, you, some of you guys are in self, this could be self-deception. You could be gaslighting yourself in order to make something work or to keep something going. Virgo got 777. Leo. Gemini. Sagittarius. Yeah, so go check them out. Some yeah, don't gaslight, don't gaslight yourself just to keep or just to have, just to say you have somebody. Okay, this could be somebody confessing, somebody getting caught in something, hung up. Somebody could be getting caught in a lie in court, and this could be something big, too. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't lie to yourself. Don't let your insecurities get the better of you either. Some of you guys do do need to shift your perspective. And be honest with yourself. Some of you, I feel like a lot of you guys, there's somebody here that's that's trying to run away from something by not speaking, by not acknowledging it, by ignoring it, acting disinterested. But what's the seven of swords in reverse? That's not going to work. Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy. You have the nine of cups, Pisces, Aquarius energy here. Someone be coming in with an offer, or you could be somebody could be acting out on a date, or yeah, this could be an invitation to something. But the strength card here, it's about having courage. You may need to have some more compassion and patience for someone or for yourself. Some of you guys are really cri overly critical about yourself, and it, and it makes it hard for you to trust people. It makes it hard for you to trust the timing and things. Okay, so just be careful with that. Oh, you could be seeing 666, six of wands, six of pentacles, six of cups. Six are all about balance, protection. Um, I feel like somebody's lies are catching up to them as well. What's, who else got 666? Pisces. Sagittarius. Aquarius and Taurus. Yeah, the strength card is about courage. It could be a lack of vulnerability. Somebody may want to confess something, but they're keeping it close to their chest and it's becoming burdensome. Somebody's trying to distract themselves from something. 
Maybe they don't want to burden you. They could have a hard time asking for help. Maybe they like to appear like they're this leader that they can handle everything, that they're, you know, oh, everybody needs me. And that could be like some type of savior complex or some type of ego thing. But it's it's becoming very detrimental. Somebody here is like on their last limb. They're about to like have a nervous breakdown. Or they already have, I don't know. They may break down crying in your arms or something. Um, the strength here, Leo energy. Yeah, this is about, she's tamed this line by not trying to take away from who it, it or what it is by accepting it and just being patient and compassion with, compassionate with it. This may be you guys needing to tame a part of yourself by just being compassionate and, and confident and patient with yourself. Like your 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 in those instincts that you guys have that may kind of get a little bit out of control every now and then. This is like taming yourself, okay? Instead of trying to tame other people, what's no need to worry? Yeah, five of wands. There could be some conflict. Saturn and Leo. Hmm. What's the no need to worry? But I don't feel like you have to worry. This may not even be about you. This may not even be you going through this. Or even if, what's this no need to worry? Yeah, this could be online. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Something on social media you may see. Um, This could be travels too with the world here. What's the no need to worry? The Ace of Wands, yeah. You don't have to fight for anything. <laughs> you have a lot of options. You have plenty. You're not out of options. You're not lacking anything. Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. New energy. Something new, something exciting. This could be, you could be having conflict within yourself or this could be conflict external to you. What's the five of wands? Yeah, four of cups in reverse. I wouldn't pay this any mind. You need to ignore this. Or maybe there's some type of conflict that you're, a problem that you're ignoring and you need to face head on. I don't know if you're afraid to. Moon and Cancer with the four of cups in reverse. Some of you guys have ignored something and it's become it's becoming a bigger problem or it will. Four of cups in reverse. Yeah, three of swords here, child. Saturn and Libra. You could be seeing three, 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 three of pentacles, three of wands, three of swords. Threes are all about expression. Some of you guys may, this could, I feel like somebody was very judgmental, overly judgmental, overly critical, and they could have said something that could have really hurt your feelings. Or maybe you're worried about hurting somebody's feelings. This could be like criticism or inner critic. You're, again, your inner critic. The three of swords, yes, it could be a third part. Somebody could have rejected you for somebody else, but there's something new, something better. And for others of you, or you got rejected from something because there's something else, something bigger and better. Okay, you are there, you are gonna achieve something regardless. You are gonna accomplish and complete something regardless. Okay. Again, yes, this could be third party, but it can also be overthinking, block communication, and the truth hurts. Because it's the two of swords here, then the eight, that ace of swords cutting through. The truth hurts. So whether somebody was in denial about something, I don't know, the truth, the truth hurts. I don't know if somebody was ignoring. They didn't want to see it because they didn't want, they were trying to be biased. They didn't want to create drama. I feel like something has gotten out of hand now. Three of swords here. There could be a disappointment, a breakup, unrequited love. Three of swords. Yeah, a betrayal. Ten of swords here. Everything is not. Somebody trying to act like everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Who else got 333? Virgo, Libra, Leo, uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Sag. Yeah. And Aries. So go check them out too. Yeah. Something there was some type of betrayal, argument, fight, lies. What's the world here? 
the king of cups in reverse cancer pisces scorpio could be a libra too october libra somebody here you may see something online what's this somebody could even hit you up on social media king of cups in reverse the king of cups is typically that could be like a father figure this is king of cups in reverse somebody could be married or taken already i don't know yep the emperor in reverse it could be aries energy it could be a man or a woman somebody here could be taken or married already or they were this could be you guys maybe you're going through a divorce or separation or this person is somebody can have a drinking problem i'm also getting somebody that's very emotionally manipulative very controlling okay they could have a, a public pla uh, platform this person depends on validation. They're always playing victim. This is you or this person. Uh, emperor in reverse. This could be a boss or a manager or a teacher here. That's weird. Yeah, the will of fortune, Jupiter energy. Something is changing. It could be making you guys feel a bit insecure, emotionally, most likely, mainly emotionally insecure. You feel out of control and that could be triggering for you guys. Something may be out of your control. Something is going in your favor, so I don't know why. You guys may be needing more structure as well, too, or somebody does. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Sagittarius energy, what's the Wheel of Fortune? There's a lot of changes that are going on. You don't have to worry about whatever this is. Just, you don't have to, some of you guys just need to um, really, um, moderate and hone in on your morning and nightly routines you're gonna need some type of routine here to get and some structure to get through this but i feel like you'll be fine what's the will of fortune yeah five of cups mars and scorpio a lot of you guys are worried about past disappointments that have nothing to do with the future that have nothing to do with the current some of y'all are worried about the past you're not seeing the two cups that are behind you you got to shift your perspective You could be seeing five, 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 five of swords, five of wands, five of cups. There could be changes going on, like I said. But focus on solutions, Cancers, because I feel like despite all this, I feel like you're going to be fine regardless. Happiness, be, you know, focus on being happy. And if you get your happiness from other people, what you get from other people, what you have with other people, think family and all of that i know it's hard because you guys do rule the fourth house which is family you're never going to be happy you're always going to be disappointed so uh virgo got five 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 can't um sorry of course you got five 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 virgo uh gemini scorpio capricorn pisces aquarius yeah so yeah there's some type of change that could be a bit disappointing or the way the direction of how something or someone is going could be disappointing but that's not your problem that's not your fight ace of wands this person will get theirs trust me time and karma and all of that will catch up to this person page of cups there could be new love here or somebody that you sparking somebody's interest yeah you got new things here somebody could be somebody wants to ask you out they could be a bit shy don't focus on the past that already happened shift your shift your shift the energy get out of that energy okay what's this page of cups somebody could want to have a heart to heart apologize listen to your intuition here what's this page of cups yeah the moon here listen to your intuition cancer pisces this is about your intuition pay attention to what you're feeling because there's people around you that are wearing masks that act like they support you they act like they care but they're really codependent they're money hungry they're power hungry they're manipulative they're spiteful they're emotionally unavailable they're greedy they're selfish or this could be how you're appearing to people i don't know the moon here there could be something about a child that's being hidden. What's the moon? 
Yeah, four of cups, four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. The death card, Scorpio. So, so yeah, definitely change here. Um, I don't know if somebody's like hiding a child or like you may feel like somebody's keeping something from you or I don't know, holding back. Somebody could be holding back their feelings out of fear for some of you. I know one of your readings, there was about a lot of family secrets. So there's still some type of deception. That there's still some, there's a secret or something that somebody's keeping to themselves here. It could be, somebody could be pregnant. That could be that too, four pentacles. Oh, the empress wanted to come out. Taurus, Libra energy. Somebody could be pregnant. What's the four pentacles? The knight of wands. That's about sex, child. So, mm, knight of cups. That's a child. Child, child, so be careful. Child, child, be careful. Y'all thought y'all couldn't get pregnant or y'all was like, oh, I'm done. Be careful. I, the Knight of Cups, the Empress, the, the Empress and the High Priestess is fertility. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Scorpio here. Somebody could be a November Sag or a November Scorpio. I'm also getting October Scorpio here, but um, somebody could be holding on to your, some of you guys could be um, holding back from sex with new lovers, okay, until you feel comfortable, that's a good idea, okay, and for others of you, this could be, some of you guys may need to save your money, don't spend so recklessly, there could be some type of risk that you want to take, you should do it, it could be something creative, follow your instincts, follow your intuition, this is like going for your passion, following your heart, taking a risk. This is a risk that will pay off, okay? So I don't know if somebody could be holding back. This person could be coming in very sexual. Be careful with that. They could be hiding it. They could be saying, oh, I want a relationship, but really they just want sex. This could be like a one-night stand. I don't know, just be careful. Somebody could have had a one-night stand and it could have resulted in a child. So, And that could be what the regret is. This person could be a deadbeat or an absentee parent. But that's for some of you guys, not everybody. But, um, yeah. Somebody's still, yeah. This could be you guys finding your passion. Too. But what's, um, there's the Knight of Pencil, Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands here. There's in the Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. There's a message in the Eight of Wands. Ex Knights are messengers. Expect some type of message to come in. Expect somebody to take some type of action towards you. Okay. What do Cancers need? To, what's the Oracle message? Today's lesson. Oh, forgive yourself. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys gotta be stop being so critical with yourself. Today's lesson, identify one area of your own life where you're angry at yourself or where you've yet to forgive something you've done. Healing requires forgiving oneself as well as others. Your goal, to love yourself enough to heal. Some of you guys need to heal from putting yourself in relationships and situations with people and places and things that didn't value you, that just took from you. Okay, or, you know, you gave and didn't, you felt drained or didn't get much back. Forgive yourself for that. Maybe you knew better. And you maybe you knew better. And you still didn't do better. Okay. We got surrender to the divine. Some of you guys are having a hard time with that surrendering because you want to control everything, and it's blocking your. It's causing your intuition to be blocked. Today's lesson: identify. Some of you guys have a father figure in your energy. It could be your husband, your child's father or mother. They're in some type of regret about something that happened in the past. I don't know what they did. This could be you. I don't know. But somebody's in regret here. Maybe they don't like the changes that have happened. Maybe. So, I, don't, I don't know if you guys got kids. I don't know. You know, when kids come, things change. And, you know, things aren't as fun anymore. Somebody needs to open up about how they're really feeling about whatever this is. Okay. Um, today's lesson. Identify one fear that you need to surrender unconditionally into the hands of the divine. 
with the emphasis on unconditional. This prayer can truly change your entire life. Your goal to lift the burden of fear from your soul. Yeah, somebody's like scared. Scared of what people are going to think. Scared of what you may think. But this is how you feel. Somebody can't change, you can't go, you can't change the past. Somebody needs to get out of that. Somebody's too stuck on the past. Somebody wish they can go back in the past and change go back in the past and change things. You can't. You just have to deal with it. Practice visualization. I feel like a lot of this is just fear-based anyway. Uh, today's lesson, visualize what you need to heal or create in your life. The image needs to fill all seven chakras, so consciously place that picture into each of them. With your breath, animate those images, bring them to life, and fill your being. Your goal to practice and believe in the power of visualization. Yeah, so you, you're you great. You can manifest things very easily, Cancers, with your mind, your what you say out loud, your imagery. So use that for a good use okay put it to good use spend the day with god this is a day for you to spend with god a day of prayer a day of silence imagine that your entire world is a sacred chapel every inch of your life is filled with grace and the presence of the divine your goal to visualize yourself in to your goal to visualize yourself in the company of heaven every minute of the day yeah period okay every day is a good day not every moment, but, well, maybe not every day, but find the good in the moments. Find good in some, you know, be grateful and appreciative of what you have, cancers. Some of you guys could be struggling with that. Gratitude. You may want to write a, a daily gratitude list for the next 21 days. Three to five things. Three days. Just, just put three things. I'll hold you accountable to three. You can do five if you want, but three. I'm not, you know, I'm not asking for much. It's for yourself. Um... Well, this was your reading, Cancers. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.